Hello, I'm Ben Miller, an orthopedic tumor surgeon here at the University of Iowa. And I'm going to talk today a little bit about limb salvage surgery in sarcoma, and specifically sarcoma of bone. Now, when we think about surgery for sarcoma, we really have two major goals. One is to remove the entire tumor, and two is to preserve limb function as much as possible. Now, the way we go about doing this, first is to determine where um, in the bone the tumor actually is. Now, if you look back 30 years ago, the treatment of sarcoma essentially consisted entirely of amputation. So what's changed in the last 30 years that now we're able to do limb salvage in essentially 95% of these cases? Well, one thing that's changed is now we have better treatments other than surgery, meaning we have chemotherapy, and in occasional circumstances we have radiation therapy. This allows the tumor to stop growth, it defines our boundaries a little bit better, and it allows us to be closer to the tumor without so much of a consequence of local recurrence. A second thing that's changed is now we have MRI to help us tell where the tumor starts and stops. And if we go to this diagram of the bone, you can imagine if we have a tumor down here that we can see on x-ray, we have a big question of where does the tumor extend in the bone. We don't know exactly where it starts and where it stops. What MRI allows us to do is it allows us to see in greater detail what is happening in the tumor itself. How high up the leg does it go on the inside of the bone? Where does it extend on the outside of bone? And this additional information gives us enough confidence that we're able to perform surgery to actually excise this element of the bone um, and tumor while retaining the residual um, bones, nerves, and blood vessels of the limb. And then the third thing that allows us to be so successful with limb salvage here today is the advent and the um, gains in technology of the, the internal prostheses that we're able to use. Once we have to take the bone out, we leave a very substantial bony defect. This has to be filled in in such a way either with cadaver bone or with uh, metal implants. Um, the concept that we use now is a concept of modularity, meaning that we can actually build up patient-specific implants based upon the size of the patient and based upon the size of the bony defect that we remove. This is an example of what we would call an oncology prosthesis. So once we remove a large defect in the bone, as I alluded to before with surgery, we're able to successfully build this up and reconstruct a joint using this metal prosthesis, which is fixed into the bone at either end. Limb salvage surgery and the details of the treatment are something that you and your provider will discuss at the time of a clinic visit surrounding your diagnosis and treatment.